This week on Bad Brackets, let's play some video games. All right, welcome in to this episode of Bad Brackets. This week we are doing wrestling video games because the new WWE 2K comes out later today if you did the pre-order like someone I know and most likely someone else I know later this afternoon when I break down and just hit the purchase button. But we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. There's a lot of wrestling games over the years, uh, a lot of series that go for many years that these guys have to decide which one I'm going to put on the bracket. It's going to be a lot of fun. With us this week, Mr. Harry Broadhurst returning back to the show. I stand by what I said on my whiteboard. Why do you keep throwing me on these shows with a bunch of noobs? We're just trying to expand the bad bracket buddy system. I, I, I need a new, I, I need a better name for the group. Uh, below us with the crazy background noise, we apologize for it. And his family's there. We're having a good time. <laughs> Mr. Doof, David Doofenberg, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. Everyone's doing dishes after dinner. Yeah, so. having a good time. And with this uh, old podcast buddy of myself, Wes, doing a, doing us a good uh, helping hand here and literally hopping on 40 minutes before we were supposed to record because somebody had to drop out. So, Wes, thank yeah. you so much for hopping on. Yeah, no problem. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Because I'm terrible See, at this sort of thing. Bad back but... at brunch. I like it. Bad back at brunch is pretty good. Since uh, you got that, the, new people. The, bat, so, the bad bracket bats, if you want to do the... Uh, the I meant there. to say bunch, but apparently I just I just out of uh, reflex wrote brunch. Maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> brunch <laughs> is never terrible. We got some new people here on the show. Everyone's going to get three guesses as to what wrestling video games I put on the 24 game bracket i will randomly order who goes first here shortly basically points given out for every for whatever the seed is 14 seed gets 14 points it's not on the bracket you don't get a single point all three of these guys gave me their final four and their champion before the show they get the final four right they get two points (laughs) if they get the champion right they get five points Wes realizing some of his problems with some of (laughs) His personal yeah, because you didn't blessing. say that. Don't, don't don't tell anybody what they are. Maybe you can sneak them through and give them some wins. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot maybe, of fun here. Maybe he can sneak them through if they're actually on your bracket in the first place. You it's it some bit. I I did. If you have not watched the Pokemon episode, for one, Sean Garmer got his second win which ties Harry and Eric for most wins in Bad Bracket history. He also broke the record for most points in a single Bad Bracket episode. What was it? 56 points is what Sean hit. Absolutely crushed it. But I did warn those three. We had three completely different people on the Pokemon episode. I did warn those three that this was the most rancid I've ever been when it comes (laughs) to a bracket. Why? Because there were so many different wrestling video games. You just... I, I. I had to just pick and choose and move things around and have some fun with some matchups. So we're going to have some fun. That's all I know. Let's <laughs> figure out who goes first as far as my pie looks smaller. Nominees. Slightly smaller. Listen, I was hungry. Yeah, Wes ate your part of the pie. <laughs> this is a 33.334, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, if you, if, if you look at a regular match, it's a 50 50 chance. Never mind. <laughs> No Steiner maps here. David gets his neck a pick. So the newbies get to go in there before Harry shows them how Spin it's the done. goddamn wheel for me. Nope, you don't get a win. It's no wins for you. Let me get into the right it's, thing. It, 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 it's a refreshing change of pace to have somebody else uh, <laughs> take the brunt of Randy podcast hosting. Absolutely. I I, I, don't know, I I don't know why you guys continue to allow me to host things, these things. Uh, oh, yeah. You want me to do the work. That, that's what it is. All right, Wes, give me your first nominee. Uh, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to say uh, SmackDown versus Raw 06. 
Uh, oh, six. We'll just do initials because save some space. Nope. Mm. I got to go with my one of my childhood favorites of Saturday Night Slam Masters. Slam Masters. Harry. Um, give me WrestleMania, the arcade game. Oh. And give me ECW's Hardcore Revolution. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to read these for ECW. Yeah. Who knows if it's in there or not? We'll find out. Dude, second pick. Uh, I'm going to be that guy since we can't pick Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball, Rumble Roses. <laughs> <laughs> Technically a wrestling game, I think. You just way, wanted it. You just wanted it for the horse. I did. <laughs> By the <laughs> way, before Wes gets his other two picks in there, might be the best profile picture for this show. I, I, he sent me a picture with a hat in it, and I had to keep the hat in. It just yeah. worked in. Um just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Um okay, I have to ask this after mm -hmm. everybody picks. Because I don't want to give somebody else a uh, potential pick for this for this bracket. Go ahead, Wes. Oh, okay. Good. I thought you were asking a question about the hat. I was like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wes. Uh let's see. Um, I am also, gonna go. Oops. Go ahead. I was gonna. I'm I'll gonna, gonna go a little bit off the uh, uh, the reservation here. Uh, Fire Pro Wrestling World. <laughs> Not as off the reservation as you might think. Uh, and then you know what uh, I'm going to go really off the reservation this one's probably not on there but I think it's hilarious Wrestling Empire uh, you want M. Dickey on us how dare you <laughs> <laughs> somebody's a fan of New Legacy Inc <laughs> a little bit Sh shout, shout out John that game before I was aware of New Legacy So shout out John Blood alright yeah. dude one more pick Thought about picking WWE Supercard because I'm a nerd with this game, but I'm not. So I'm Bruh! Gonna even... That's a spirit. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go way back to the N64 and not go the obvious one, but I'll just say WrestleMania 2000. Yeah, because No Mercy is going to be like a one or a two seed, and that's not oh, yeah, worth absolutely. it. <laughs> that's not worth it. Uh, is DJV considered a wrestling game, Isbell? DJV? Def Jam, Jam Vendetta. Vendetta. Yeah, it's considered a wrestling video game. Then give that to me for my third pick. You went Vendetta and not Fight for New York? Vendetta is probably the more commonly known one. All right, let's get into it. Those are their picks. Get into the making a bed back there. group. <laughs> All right, well, the dude has some help behind him. Yeah. Help him make his choices. Uh, again, if you have not listened, Conspiracy! If you have not watched the Pokemon episode, I have new graphics going on, but I will tell you right now, these graphics cover up my PowerPoint presentation, so I don't even know what's coming up because images cover other images, and it becomes a complete mess. But your 15 seed... How about WWE <sighs> 13? Oh, shit. It's either that or, or WrestleMania, I was going to pick. Yeah. <laughs> and the 18 seed? How about WWE Day, of, Day Reckoning. of Reckoning? I remember that for the GameCube. Which one moves on? We apologize for coming to you from the underground bunker that houses Doof. <laughs> <laughs> Apocalypse is upon us. Yeah. The end here? is here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just went back 13 years. Yeah. Good I, lord. Deep cut. Oh no. Uh, we'll explain off camera. <laughs> All right. Everybody got your vote? Got it. Let's see. Him. Have you ever third? Not technically 2K13, different company. Uh, before they all got bought out. And it it's, TH, it's THQ back before they were stealing money. Right. Allegedly, so I don't get sued. <laughs> anybody, any video game company, anybody uh, like? I, 
I, I think I played six GameCube games in my life, and five of them were WWE games. So <laughs> I did actually used to write reviews for a, Nintel, uh, a Nintendo fan site, and Day of Reckoning was actually one of the ones I reviewed. I didn't like it. I've never and played think, it. And I think part of the reason why was just because the story mode was just like you could I have a problem with games that punish you for doing too well in the matches and day of reckoning if you keep winning your matches puts you in like a fatal four way escape only cage match like two months into the storyline <laughs> So you have lots of fun. That's what you're saying. Yeah, Mario Kart rubber banding. It's just banding. like no, no, I, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> All right, let, Video uh, game cage matches. Ugh. Yes. No, those are my fa- uh, my daughter's favorite matches. Because oh, they're, 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 they're probably the like, only one she can beat you at. Because she has so much fun. The the like when you're playing against other people in the room with you or like in a discord call. Yeah. Cage matches are fun, but when it's three other AIs, no, thank you. Yeah. Cage matches. She loves when it's uh, her, her brother and myself. Cause then we beat each other up and she escapes. She loves hell in a cell matches just so we can go up to the top and throw each other off for 35 minutes. Cause that match never ends. <laughs> and she loves elimination chamber matches. Cause she just comes out hides on her pod until the final two. She refuses to wrestle. So there Which you go. Which is code Big for she's rats. smart. She's smart, absolutely. So All apparently, right, it's, apparently, she's Addie H from SummerSlam 03 over there. Let's move on. This one, bit of a deeper cut. I saw a lot of really good reviews, especially for the system that it came out on. How about some WWF superstars? Oh. You can play it on the arcade. It's also on the Game Boy, of all things. They have a Game Boy part of an arcade game. But the arcade game was I, fantastic reviews as well. And then, I know what game I'm looking up on a retro game. And of course, WrestleMania. The arcade oh, game, 23 points. Harry showing exactly how to play the it, game. <laughs> showing it. Superstars or WrestleMania, the arcade game. It's not 24, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's as close as you can get. <laughs> oh, by the way, welcome to the show, gentlemen. <laughs> putting on a clinic right off the bat. I have a lot of fond memories of one of these games. I've never played the other. All right, there's okay. one vote. WrestleMania the arcade. That's fine. Two for the arcade game. Superstars from Duke. Duke, why'd you go superstars? Because I spent a lot of my parents' money in the bowling alley in California <laughs> playing this game terribly, but loving every minute of it and being enthralled when someone would actually get to Andre and the million dollar man at the end and actually beat him. But yeah, I love that game. So I actually had no idea that it existed, but as soon as we get off of here, I have a retro gaming emulator site that I go to online and I will be looking this game up immediately. Yeah, it looks really cool. I I don't know if I can pull up images or not. I would take it, the snake because the DDT is easy. It looks really to pull cool. Off. But <laughs> Wes, why'd you go uh, the arcade game? Well, um, because for me, it's um, one of my first wrestling game memories. Like that, that, that's what drives a lot of my choices for any sort of ranking is is just nostalgia. And I remember playing the Genesis port specifically of this game. Uh, with my cousins as a kid and like like one of the earliest times i went to game facts throwing tomb- exactly yeah the, uh, like throwing tombstones at people and they they leaned into the arcade aspect of wrestling you know because uh, well obviously back then they couldn't be super realistic hyper realistic you know you get you get things like razor ramon grabbing yokozuna by the legs and slamming him into the mat like he's trying to beat dirt out of a rug <laughs> And then, and when he does so, little hand bones coming out of Yokozuna's ass. <laughs> this is also true, yes. Right. And I was such a stickler for rules that I always had to make sure I didn't do a razor's edge until it was the last move to actually do the pin at the end. <laughs> I'm going to do a kick and a Dang pin. It. Are you kidding me? Dang it, it's a finisher for a reason. <laughs> exactly. Right. It's like a blatant total debacle. <laughs> 
All right, let's figure out what your number two seed is. No mercy. All right for that SmackDown comes the pain. Yep. One of the old early SmackDown games. Really, really fun. Here comes the redacted nowadays, though. That is oh. Who's on the cover? Is it blank? Yeah. Hey, Benoit. <laughs> Somebody made an uh, image of all the Royal Rumble winners and all the ones that got crossed out because of Benoit and Vince and Brock. And <laughs> well, good. you know what it is now? It's all Stevie Richards wins. Yeah. <laughs> Some bitch has like six Rumbles now. <laughs> right. No, it's, it's, it's actually Jim Neidhart. Who? Do we, do, we, <laughs> do we somehow have an upset? No. No, nah, that I, I, I like. Do you want me to waste a page? It's here comes. No, nah, you're good. Like, like, I, like, the hurricane was a world champion, and my here comes the pain. So I actually, I actually own a physical copy on the 360 of of WWE 13, but here comes the pain is one of those games that when you were getting into wrestling video games, it had everything you wanted. All the different match types. The graphics were the best to the date for any WWE game there. And still hold up today going back and replaying it. If I remember right, this is the one that had the ridiculous story mode, right? They just continued to throw a bunch of stuff at you and... It, it was basically it like a it was basically like a tree mode, yeah. Where whatever yeah. decision you made in that particular story segment took you to the next branch and everything. What... what wasn't that the also the one where you would just randomly have like uh, like uh, like uh, matches versus like unknown letter and it was just a bunch of creative wrestler parts thrown together into some horrific mishmash? It might have been. It's been so long since I played that game. But I remember it, that that SmackDown and playing that and just being like, "What the hell am I looking at right now?" <laughs> it moves on, so we'll go to the other matchup. WrestleMania the arcade game will get. About Wrestle Fest, another arcade Ooh. game. It reminded me a lot of Superstars when I looked it up. Apparently, two different games, even though every time I was seeing images, they looked very, very similar. But I've never heard of this one either. So. I've but living I remember, in, I remember say, living in Lewis, and there were not a lot of arcades. It was again Godfather's Pizza, and that was about it. I remember. <laughs> I remember playing yeah, Wrestle Fest at Orchard Lanes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember when I was younger playing WrestleFest, but of the two, I definitely preferred WrestleMania the arcade. Yeah, Ar it's WrestleMania. Oh, wow. Arcade moves on. Do you play WrestleFest? Yeah. Being a Navy brat, we got to travel around, so a lot of the arcade ports I played a lot of. But I also played a lot of WrestleMania the arcade game, so I can't be too upset about that one. Yeah, so I... Oh, ahead, real, qu real quick, do you remember when it was uh, Eric and Brian doing this and I felt like I was on the business end of all the wrong decisions? <laughs> oh, it's nice now. It's nice not to be that guy on an episode. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Wes. Very, very true. So I, I, I was just going to say, well, I was a rat too, and I remember a couple of arcade games, but I don't remember their names at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas I played, like I like I said, the Genesis port of the of the WrestleMania arcade game, so that's why it sticks in my head so much. But like I do have fond memories of some wrestling arcade game at some point. I just don't know which one it was. <laughs> that's the problem. This is for as many fond memories as I have of WrestleMania the arcade game. Yeah, this is a bad bad draw for it. Your classic two seed versus twenty three seed. Here comes the pain versus WrestleMania. The arcade game. Go ahead and write your answers down. We'll reveal one by one here in a moment. I may have tipped my hand a little. A little bit. <laughs> Wes, you got yours? Yeah. Doof, you got yours? One sec. Okay. He's getting fancy with the colors for the bracket finale. Right. He's getting crazy. With it. All right, don't show I'm yet. Ready. Don't show. All right. Harry, you already kind of revealed yours. Go ahead and reveal it. Oh, yeah, this isn't even close. Uh, anybody that's never watched the show, I like to play a game where if there's a chance for a tie, I try to figure it out, and I have an idea. So, Wes. So, 
I'm going with WrestleMania the arcade game again. Again, his personal choice. I played way more of WrestleMania the arcade game than I did of Here Comes the Pain. And do break the tie. Instead of UMBC, the upset, nope. I forgot Here Comes the Pain. <laughs> <laughs> totally fair. Destroy my bracket that year. Seed moves on. Uh, never trust a Tony Bennett coach team, sir. <laughs> It's true. Here are your points so far. Pretty good start, Harry. Trying to get that third win. I got a a new record. I got a funny feeling Hardcore Reb's going to get me some good points, too. It's possible. Because Anarchy rules. Uh, Yeah, unless he picks Anarchy rules, which is going (laughs) to piss me off. (laughs) Because I had both of them, but I preferred Hardcore Reb since it was the Anarchy rules was bad. I can't remember which one it was, but I actually played one of the ECW games. And my my memory of it is I did an AI versus AI match for some reason, and it glitched out, and they just stood there staring at each other until timeout. <laughs> the commentators literally fell asleep. And the well, barbed wire you- match, like the barbed wire took 75% of your power or something. Oh, as soon as you hit somebody with any weapon in the ECW game, it was game over for them. <laughs> I, I'll tell you right now. That I almost went super rancid and put that horrible backyard wrestling game on here, and I, I just could not do it. The backyard wrestling it. game actually isn't that bad. Oh, it's, uh, I didn't like it at all. But it almost made this bracket. It's to, be fair, here, but. to be fair, I have a couple of friends who are in that game, so. There you go. I right. may, may or may not have done wrestling for a decade and met some people. Yeah, we, we did wrestling as well, but we, you don't meet as many people on the, the the northwest <laughs> on, the, on the east side of the states. A lot of the yeah. people that I met in, in the Utah area are now wrestling on the east side of the states. So, all right, let's move on. I don't know if this is good enough to be a fourteen seed, but it just it really built up the matchup. Backstage assault. How about TNA oh. Impact Wrestling? I, okay, so I'll, I'll save it for when we have the conversation after the match because yeah. I actually still I still own a co- physical copy of this game for my 360. And I vomited when I put this one on here, but I had to. All-Stars? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> DNA and AW, have some fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's what one of these are going to move on to the next round. I actually own both, which makes me the, that weird wrestling guy, I guess. The TNA one, the graphics are really good for the time. And, and the gameplay was brutal. All right. Fuck. Impact moves on. Well, Impact the re- is my boat. The reason, the reason being for me. <laughs> I don't know what, which one are you picking. Bye forever. All right. We're tied. <laughs> Wes. Okay, I didn't I didn't finish writing it, but AEW. Break the tie. AEW moves on. So Harry, go ahead and, and talk about impact. I'm that guy again. How dare you two? Anyways, um, so my thing for me is uh, impact was the first ever appearance in game for a lot of my favorite wrestlers. Uh AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, low key back before we all knew what a dickhead he was. Allegedly. <laughs> and and hey, you know, allegedly, he's... so we don't get sued because he strikes me as the type to contact a lawyer. <laughs> um, just so many different people who, thanks to the TNA brand, I was able to discover and who have gone on to bigger and better things throughout the, the rest of their wrestling career. Plus, I don't think that the video game engine for Impact was that bad, actually. Fight Forever is glitchy as hell. Like, I picked Fight Forever because I haven't played it and I was really excited for impact and I hated it (laughs) because it seemed like everyone had the same 10 moves and I, yeah, like Like a lot of, a lot of style and not a lot of substance. Yeah. 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 That was the same boat. I was excited to have like Rhino and Styles. The The AEW game isn't bad. The only issue that I have is it's one of those pay to play games where it's, Mm. if, if, you want the newest people there, you're going to have to shell out for the DLC. Yeah. It does not have a community creations feature at all. The creator wrestler is garbage. Yeah, I got MJF on my 2K23. He looked pretty yeah. good. 
<laughs> oh, community <laughs> creations in 2K is fantastic. Oh, good. And you know, guys, guys, like, what's the status? And I had to just, I, I, I also went to AEW simply because Impact gave us suicide. <laughs> and for that, no, it cannot burger. be forgiven. You, 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 you put some respect <laughs> on the name of Frankie Kazarian, sir. Oh, he's no Frankie Ooh. Kazarian is awesome. The suicide concept was fucking stupid. All stars. Not gonna lie, I have a soft spot for all stars. But does it beat the old oh. legends? Oh, uh, you wrestling. motherfucker! <laughs> if you'd have put two on there, that'd have been a guarantee. <laughs> I own both of these games for my 360. I really need to get the eye on my 360 fixed. This is your fault, Isabel. I agree. I went super fancy on mine. I feel like. There you go. I, I put a two on it. It's not the second <laughs> game, but I put a two on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we got? We got one for Legends of Wrestling. Do what you say? I was having too much fun. All stars. That's with my thing. All stars. We need a. We need a tiebreaker, Harry. All stars moves on. It's Legend. the modern. It's 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 the modern arcade classic. It's just like the old school arcade versions of it. I know there are a lot of people who bash this game when it came out, saying it was unrealistic. Yeah, people, that was the fucking point. <laughs> that was the point. It's it's always funny to me when you play a goofy game and it's not real, is it? Well, it's not supposed to be. But do you it's, imagine if NBA Jam came out and people got mad because it was unrealistic? <laughs> Well, the th and the thing about it is, is I think people inherently forget that video games are supposed to be fun. That's stupid. I played The Last <laughs> of Us, and I still, still hate myself. So I'll play it again. <laughs> so, my my nephew is my nephew is 15 years old now. When All Stars came out, he was like six or seven. One of my some of my favorite memories are sitting there and watching him try to beat collect as many of the achievements on All Stars as he could while playing it a couple hours at a time. It wasn't Drew McIntyre in the game and everyone talked mad shit about it. Well I guess they were pretty pathetic about it because look where he is now. <laughs> sure. All -Star. And Kofi was on it. I remember that. Neat. Uh, anybody Anybody want to take a guess as to what's going to face off against AEW Fight Forever? Fire Pro. I'm going to say No Mercy. No, not it's, No Mercy. No, it's not going to be a W. It's not going to be a WWE game. Knowing Revenge. this, though. But you red oh. bastard! Swish. Oh. Three, three points. No, three points is bad, but. <laughs> hey, at least you're all you're on the scoreboard and off the Schneid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> SmackDown versus Raw 2006 versus AW Fight Forever. I will say most of the time I try to have the first round have really fun matchups. Sometimes I'll try to match them up with one of the top eight seeds, but usually the top eight seeds are the ones I really think are the top of the top. And then the cream of the crop. Go for it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy. Yep. I almost went AEW just to piss Randy off. Yeah, you would have been voted out, now. and that's fine. <laughs> we, we know your true alliances. It's fine. <laughs> Somebody say something about cream of the crop. Yeah. Yeah. A big thing with up, up, down, down, and, and Austin Creed and Tyler Breeze and all them playing GM mode in 2006. Wes, Wes hated GM mode, but our buddy <laughs> Dusty and I would play that thing for hours. So. I think yeah. I would probably do a little bit better nowadays, but back when we back when you guys were like did, dragging me into it, I was like, uh, uh, "What the fuck am I doing?" Yeah, did, I honestly didn't understand it at all at first. Like, have you guys played? Have you guys played it as Breezy and Woods in Two K Twenty Three? Oh yeah, yeah. I I'd, I'd be down for that. Uh, I Two K Twenty Three has Breezy and Woods as featured mm -hmm. GMs. You're right. Yeah, for sure. Now and I'm pretty sure 2K20. I'm pretty sure 2K24 will as well. Yeah. Because I I heard that they're actually adding a couple of people to uh as I hit my headset. I heard they're actually adding a couple of people as GM options on 2K24. Yeah, I'm excited to see. And they've added some extra stuff and made it even more complicated. I actually don't like watching Breeze and Creed play the newer stuff because it gets too complicated. So they really have to pay attention to. Uh, 
SVR 06 was just so good because it was just simple. Put your six matches out there, put a couple promos, and move the hell on. And do it in five minutes. Let's go. And make sure you don't accidentally let somebody's contract expire, Breezy, yes. so that Woods can steal them all the time. Yes, 100%. Love Billy it. and I did that with Paul and Randy, I remember. Oh, yeah, so we did crap. do SVR 06. As a Our two females, we forgot to resign. <laughs> we had fun with it. All right. What goes up against All Stars? The six seed. There's your fire pro. I was close. Yeah. It is on there. Six points for somebody. Six points for West. CS4 version, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, backstory. Harry wanted a fire pro for something and i go which one and he goes the original i go i don't think that's what you think it means <laughs> fire pro wrestling world was like the 17th fire pro game that came out they just <laughs> finally finally came over here i cannot figure out fire pro wrestling world i own this game and i can i like i beat people in it but like so the, the actual wrestling is just just to get the extra moves in there my brain doesn't this wrap is around it it's GM mode. It. It's GM mode is insanely good, though. This but, is the this is the one that has like the American wrestlers, but under foreign names, right? I'm sure. Yeah, like there are a bunch of Americans back back cataloged into the game just under different names, and you have to like break the code on what their names are in the game. Yeah, I think so. Like, there's a game FAQ about it on uh on on gamefaqs.com. Yeah, they have. There are so many wrestlers in this one. I, again, the GM mode for this is ridiculously good. I love it. But which moves on? Like my fire. It's a beautiful fire. Beautiful <laughs> fire. Anybody with last thoughts on All Stars? Like oh. I said. Like I said, a fun, t fun little time waster, and sometimes that's all you want when it comes to a video game. I think I remember one of my favorite tweets ever from Kevin Owens slash Steen was when he was still still in ROH. He's like, "You ever play All Stars with your kid, and when all of a sudden you get the knockout move played on you on your breath, you just say, what the fuck?'" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know what the you know what the sad thing is is I'm pretty sure his kid nowadays could take most wrestlers in a real oh, fight. Yeah. Owen is freaking huge. Is he? I haven't even seen him. In a oh, minute. dude. He's like 17, like 250. Jesus. All right. Who makes it to the final four? Which GM mode is better? 06 or Fire Pro Wrestling World? I feel like this might be the point where right West tells you to go screw yourself over your bracket pairings like I have in the past. I'm just here. I'm just here so I don't get fined. I mean. Oh, God. You stupid Seahawks fan. <laughs> all right everybody got their answers wrote well if it makes yep. you feel any if it makes you feel any better big east just here so punk doesn't get fined mm. he's trying to keep it all right uh harry let me see yours david ah, boo. clean sweep <laughs> or was i wrong wes yeah ah, clean, clean sweep, sweep. No, no double SmackDown matchup in the final four <laughs> Fire Pro. But that's a Here hell of a semifinal right there between Here Comes the Pain and Fire Pro. Yes, 100%. Wes! Oh, I didn't put Wes's total on there. It's fine. Bing. There you go. Uh, Wes, with two of his already announced, he's got nine points. Harry's still with 23. He spelled it looking for anything. He spelled Empire wrong, by the way. It's just an M. <laughs> I, oh, I, I actually, that? I think, I think the like the recent re-release actually spells out Empire. The version that I've seen on New Legacy just has the M and Empire. Mm. So what you're telling me is, yeah. Randy, it's not on the list. So fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you can read into it however you want to read into it. I mean, he uh, may have act, he may have created the bracket and not known the difference at that time. Yeah. We'll go with that. That's code for it's not on the list. You're screwed. <laughs> Let's move on. We're halfway through. 16 seed. How about 
a Japanese only N64 game that if you look it up looks exactly like No Mercy and all the other games that those guys all made. Virtual Pro Wrestling is what that game was called. And the 17th seed. Oh. Saturday Night Slam Masters. With David, Mr. Doofenberg <laughs> on the board. 17 points. Welcome to Which the score. Moves on. Welcome to the scoreboard, sir. I'm going with this one based on game I've actually played, not game that's only available in Japan. <laughs> it's fair. Gotta give love all everywhere, man. If it helps, Wes, the points are made up and your vote doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> welcome to Florida. <laughs> and welcome to Idaho. Oh, yeah, sure. Wes is still writing. Do tell me about Slam Masters. <laughs> <laughs> I remember renting it at Jackie's Magic Video. And because I just saw that there was wrestling on it. And it's basically like Street Fighter in a wrestling ring. I was always Titan. My cousin was always Scorp. And then Tag Team World Tour. It was just a blast. Yeah, the reason why I was taking so long to write was I was making a reference to... Uh, all right for fighting. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's I think move it was the on. First game that being said, go watch AEW Collision. I mean. <laughs> I would double their ratings if I did. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. The number Wolf. nine seed. Wolf. WCW NWO Revenge. Or wow, Harry, twenty three <laughs> and twenty four points from your two. <laughs> will Sean's record make it past one week? We will find out. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and answer that for. Well, he might get lucky because Def Jam Vendetta might not be on the list. That was me taking a swing. Were you so good? Final four and champion points. That was his big thing, is he had the final four completely correct and had the champion. Right. Well, um, nah, I better shut up. Yeah, don't <laughs> huh? Don't say anything. No, I'll, I'll shut up. All right. Let's see who moves on. Personal oh, preference I, I, here. Just, sorry, my bad. Uh, I'll just verbally say uh, revenge. Revenge moves on. Why revenge, like, West? Because uh, because I was more of a WCW NWO guy than I was ECW. Like I was aware of ECW's existence, but I, like, be, I played more of revenge. I will be taking back your fan card now. Thank you very much. I think one of my favorite wrestling Oosh. game moments was playing revenge, like the forty man battle royal. Mm -hmm. There was a time where it was me and my cousin playing, and we could not eliminate. Lex Luger, for whatever reason. So I got down <laughs> to the final three. I finally eliminate him. And as I eliminate my cousin, Lex Luger grabs my leg from underneath the rope and pulls me out at the same time. So it's been a half an hour, and it ended up being a 40-man battle royal draw. And we laughed our asses off. Because <laughs> that asshole would not ever fall out of the ring. When I finally did, he pulled me out at the same time I eliminated him, and it was stupid. But so funny. Awesome. If if I may, well, let me tell you something, brother. That finish doesn't work <laughs> for me, dude. <laughs> Harry, um, give some love to ECW. All right. So, is it a good game? No, no, it fucking sucks. But I have a nostalgic tie in here. My uncle, who is no longer with us, his name was Gordon. Um, we would meet up at the flea market every other week just to catch up, so that way my mom could see her brother, and we would have a chance there. My mom and my stepdad hated pro wrestling when I was a kid. I was not allowed to watch it. However, my uncle had no such limitations towards pro wrestling for me because he basically told my mother, if I buy it for him, what are you going to do, throw it away? And one of the very first things he bought me at that flea market was a PlayStation 1 copy of ECW's Hardcore Revolution. That game will always hold a special place in my heart. Yeah. I, I kind I'm kind of the same way where my my WCW fandom was because my parents would not let me watch WWF. 
because like at the time where I was really starting to get into it, WWF was starting to go attitude era and like HLA and all that, you know, really starting to upsell that aspect of it. Whereas WCW hey, was more wrestling. Hey, HLA was after WCW died. Okay, fair point. You get what I was trying to say though. <laughs> I feel like I feel like me and Wes might not be that far apart in age. <laughs> Probably not. I'm oh, thirty nine. I'm thirty nine. Yeah, I'll be 36 here in a couple months. So. I'm the old man here. You are the old man here. Well, Isbell. <laughs> no, dude's older than me. Uh, where's where's uh where's Hagen when you need him, right? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know wrestling video games. He, he's too old to play video games. He remembers the Atari. <laughs> All right. No one can see. Go ahead and just put this on your white. No board. mercy. Move it on. No mercy. It is no mercy. Yeah, that's no surprise. Yeah, that's what it should have been called. No surprise. <laughs> also, uh, the same thing as Deuce story about revenge. I remember playing the forty man battle royals on No Mercy, but we did it where it was um, blood only. First, <laughs> first blood elim. First blood elim forty man battle royal. It took two hours. It was fun because there was no weapons at the time. Uh, you couldn't go out to get the weapons. So I can't read that small writing. That, so I took the Saturday oh. night thing and then just like like wrote L O L J K no mercy under it. Mm. Makes sense. Check it all. <laughs> T L D R won't even uh, just... waste the time. We'll talk about no mercy in a bit. Yeah. Eight seed. Backstage Assault? Nah, how about that? WrestleMania 2000? Points oh, that's a duel there. Doof, I think. Yep. Revenge or WrestleMania 2000? You got your votes? You got Revenge, Revenge, Revenge. Why Revenge over WrestleMania 2000? Basically same game, just different company. Uh, easy. Uh, no Mercy is a better version, and why would we want to put the two WWF and 64 games against each other? That's fair. There's that, and then like again, they're very me, on par to me. Again, for me, it's you know personal experience, and I played a lot more of Revenge than I did of anything, honestly, in in that of its contemporaries. So, so I did not own an N64, so I've actually never played any of these three. I take that back. I've played. Uh, no mercy, and I've played Revenge at a friend's house before, but I don't have any kind of extensive experience with either of these two games. Yeah, fun fact about this bracket: other than Slam Masters, all of these games were in sixty-four or playable on the sixty-four. Brad, oh, about I'm, this quadrant of the bracket, I'm sitting there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Just watch. laughs> and it's entirely possible that they may have released Saturday Night Slam Masters for the N sixty-four as well. Not America. <laughs> or, or I'd have it over there. Oh, yeah. You you are working on the complete N64 collection over there, aren't you? Yep. I have every wrestling game. At least American-wise. Yeah. But. See, I don't think this one is close to me, though. Yeah. Just voting on this one now? Yeah, let's just do this real I'm quick. I'm a smart guy. And then yeah, I'll take a quick pause. We'll pause for the cause after this bracket concludes. Okay. All right. I don't think that there's going to be any tiebreakers. So just everybody reveal. Oh, God. No surprise. No mercy moves on. Who wants to give a love story for No Mercy real quick? I think this is like one of the only video games in history where lag does not diminish the funness of the game. Because if you do a four-person ladder match, it's it goes from like 30 frames per second to 10, it seems like, but it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. It was like just added to the fun. You could land on a ladder and it actually hurt instead of glitching the ladder out of the ring. And it was... Right. The physics on No Mercy were fantastic. Like, it's one of those things where the developers for No Mercy actually took the time to kind of incorporate actual... Similar to like how we get the uh, the body limb work in the 2K games now, 
No Mercy is like the game that started most of that, where you had to break down an opponent in order to make moves more effective. Hmm. The N64 games were the ones that started that. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping... Wouldn't it be some shit if he puts Rumble Roses against Def, Van Jet, Def Jam Vendetta? <laughs> I could totally see him being rancid enough to do that. Possibly. And I feel like th that should stay in the show as we come back, Randy. Yeah, it's just back. All right, here's All right. your points. And as they said, they're trying to figure out what's going to happen in this final bracket. Harry is nine points away from tying Sean's newly crowned record. Um, good chance. Hulk Hogan, I'm point. coming for you. Oh, wait, can't say that. Never mind. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, so Harry does look seven. like he will be our first three-time winner. It's going to be tough for either of these guys to make this kind of a comeback as – Two of Harry's games have already been on the board, and he has the, the 24th and 23rd picks. It's insane. So we'll see what happens for this last one. No. Wes, how are you liking your first episode of Bad Brackets? I mean, we, I, I, I already made the joke, so I can't really repeat it, can I? Uh, I hey, I'm, I'm liking it. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're not against repeating jokes here. All right, well, just, I'm just here so I won't get fined. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jose's old hand to Randy. And bracket. Bracket. <laughs> How about some ultimate, ultimate muscle? muscle? Nobody even brought that game up earlier. It is against Rumble 20 whole points for Doof. But which one moves on, Ultimate Muscle or Rumble Roses? And I'm not, not going to get it. That's a damn vendetta, am I? By the way, that 20 points for David puts him two points behind Harry. So all of a Stay in your lane, doof. <laughs> Mud wrestling. <laughs> Rumble Roses. I don't know if I own that game, actually, now that I... The crazy thing is that Can it's I just... not bad at all. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see, the, let's see the votes real quick. Very similar to Tekken, which kind of has wrestling elements itself. Yeah. Harry, talk about Rumble Roses. I'm going to go see if I own it. I don't even know. Hmm. Remind me a lot of Tekken. Because Tekken itself has a lot of wrestling elements to it as well in certain characters and stuff. It's just uh, obviously a very sexualized version of a wrestling game too. Mm -hmm. But I think that that's one of those things where, like Doof was talking about the the volleyball game when he mm -hmm. when he jokingly well, said that earlier. I think Harry's connections being a it's, bit of a problem. It's video game smut is what it is. Yeah, so. I love how we we got like jumpy camera and audio, and when we just hear un, uninterrupted, unprompted video game smut. Uh, <laughs> but like, um, there's a phrase that I used to use on the backlog busting project that drove Randy crazy, but I think it applies here. Product of the era, Rumble Roses kind of came out of the time yes. where video games were like, "Hey, let's do this, but sexy, like BMX XXX." <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. And, and 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 that kind well, of shit. Look at and, well, look at the massive following that Laura Croft Tomb Raider had just because of the pixelized version of Laura in the game. <laughs> oh, even like it's not wrestling related, but even like Booger Man on the Super Nintendo, it was just try to be goofy and rude, and that game came out, and like Marble Roses, like if you if it was regular wrestling men, like the game isn't actually bad at all, but it just has that cloud of we're going to show you dead or alive characters in a wrestling ring. <laughs> Alright, speaking of old school like Booger Man, let's look at your 12 seed. <laughs> WWF Raw? How about close? WWF Rumble. Royal Rumble. I like Royal Rumble more than I liked Raw just for the Royal Rumble mode Silly of me. that game. <laughs> 21 seed, go even older. Tecmo oh, wow. World Wrestling. Talk about old. Bad old. All right. Royal Rumble. Tecmo World Wrestling. Who moves on? 
Royal Thank you, Wes. Doof, why'd you go the old, old school with Tecmo World Wrestling? Because that game I probably could have speed ran back in the day. <laughs> like the the giant swing I that Cesaro would do, I would tie into that game because my favorite character are things like Dr. Gildu or something like that. It's been so long since I played it, but every time just get the guy's feet, spin them around, and it had the fancy animation because that was a special move. Throw him out of the ring, get a count out, move on to the next. It was just just like with Wes. I guess the the best memory for it. So like Royal Rumble, like probably is a better game, but Tecmo World Wrestling, that was my jam. Harry, why'd you go Royal Rumble? Because I was just reminded of Royal Rumble during the new Legacy Rumble Link uh, countdown. And it's another game that I've actually played multiple times before because I used to have it for my Super Nintendo. Yeah, it, it just one of those things where if you're used to playing, like for uh, Doof, him mentioning the fact that him, he he used to play Tecmo all the time. I've never played it, so I can't speak one way or another to it. I'm gonna go with the game that I've played over one that I haven't. Yep, same here. I I also just remember uh, uh, renting both it and then I can't re- I I can't remember what exact pay per view it was. But uh, my my local small mom and pop video store had both the game and then one of the contemporary WWF pay per views of the time on VHS. One of its like advertisement segments before the actual pay per view started playing was here are some cheats for Royal Rumble on the Super Nintendo. Nice. <laughs> so like you know the, 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 I I can't remember the exact key combo, but it was like if you press this while the game's starting up, you. G- Get a one punch knockout. Good old okay. Coliseum home video and Todd Pattengill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he would always do those not, and stuff. It's not in my house, it's in your house. Yeah. All right. Two left. DJV. 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 I mean, that wouldn't be a bad choice. Four seed. I told you. I told you. Vendetta is the better game. (laughs) It could still be here. We have one more spot. No, it's not. New York or Rumble Roses. The five seed is SmackDown 2. And if it's not, this bracket is based. (laughs) I I told you. I don't even remember what it is because the graphics cover it. So. We'll all be surprised together. I had to throw an Uno reference I, on I, I think that is a vote to be because it's not Vendetta. Nothing there to worry go. about. Fight for New York. That's and a fight for New York. Worm out. It does move on. Was that just a uh, upset vote there? Oh, Barry? that was 100% a pure smite. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the hey, the rant the it. The rant it so, was real. Imagine if so Anarchy Rules kind of like picked over the episode a little bit. Uh, Fight for New York was also a game I reviewed uh, for that website. And I remember getting praised because for dragging it because I gave it a 7 out of 10 overall. And I was like, <laughs> I, 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 and I was too young to, rem- to, to know, yeah, 7 out of 10 is a bad game review. I was like, that's still a passing grade. It's just not, you know, 6.9 out of 10. Yeah, that that's what have been deuce one on every single game. All right, your last game, SmackDown two. Anybody else want to guess? That's mine. Yeah, that sounds right. Rumble Roses three sixty. No, ah, two K twenty three. Two K twenty three. Why is this a SmackDown Two is better. <laughs> Here comes the pain was better than SmackDown Two, which <laughs> gave it its spot of the thing. I couldn't just go with thirty-seven SmackDown games. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> could have. That's its own episode of Bad Brackets, I suppose. We could have done right. Battlegrounds. I that actually own that, that for my Xbox Netflix One. Too. That way, I, I, on the list of considered. Call it the game. SmackDown Throwdown. Wait. SmackDown Throwdown. <laughs> SmackDown Lowdown. Oh, wait. That's copyrighted. 
<laughs> I almost went for that joke. Yeah, I'm right there with you. 2K23. I'm, I'm yeah. there with you, doof. Yeah. You're too far away from the... Yeah, I know. It's 2K23. Shouldn't have even written it down, honestly, but... Any like thoughts I, on it? I mean, I like Royal Rumble, don't get me wrong, but this is the first modern wrestling game that I've bought in, in quite a while, just because finances being what they were. And I, I was able to get it. I was able to score a used copy of it for like 30 bucks at GameStop. And when I tell you that when I put the game in and I did not stop playing it for six hours the first time I put it in there, I never do that with video games anymore. Like There's I probably so should have done a smite pick because I picked 2K22 for my final four. Yep, I did. Because that, <laughs> did it that? redid. Well, it, it got the franchise back to me, but 2K23 if, is a better game than it. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, SmackDown 2 was in my final four. It's the only one in my final four that's not going to make it. Where is that rude? Uh, no, I, I mean, just, uh, yeah. Royal Rumble is a great, great game for its time, but 2K23, uh, I think, w is the turnaround for the series. I, I didn't really particularly enjoy 22 uh, from what I saw of it. Huh? 22 was the turnaround. 23 then really re, re fixed some of the my only the request. Hard edges. The, my only request is get rid of my faction. No one fucking cares. But that's where the money is. You will never no. lose my faction. You, don't say no. And no. that is where all of the money is. No, I don't disagree with you, especially with all the coin packs and stuff that they get people yeah. to buy for it. But for mm -hmm. somebody like me who can barely, who's barely able to afford to buy the games in the first place, yeah. don't put in a mode that I can't, I have no interest in because I can't coin enough in order to be able to play it with any kind of regularity. Yeah, that that's where all sports games are. I'm a huge MLB The Show person. I will not play that game online because it's all the same thing. The Diamond Dynasty. Dynasty. Yeah. 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 Bunch of a bunch of coiners. Yep. Let's talk that about microtransactions. That being said, I that being <laughs> said, I am interested in uh, the show twenty four. I think it comes to Game Pass later this week. I forget when exactly that game comes out. Uh, if you pre order Very the deluxe edition, uh, pre uh, uh, early play starts on the fifteenth. I actually just saw yeah. that when I was coming to coming into the show. I yeah, just 19th know is the original release, 15th for early. I just know that it's saying that it's going straight to Game Pass as a day of drop. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it's it. Been that way the last three years. Sony got hosed on on that. They make the game and then MLB just gives it to Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, now PlayStation's getting all the Xbox exclusives, so not day and date on their PlayStation Plus. And the funny thing is, I'll still buy it on PlayStation because that's where my franchise is at. So I continue my franchise. But anyways, Def Jam Fight for New York or WWE 2K23. Who takes the last spot in our final four? Is this our only... Wait a... Yeah. They're already in. They're already done. <laughs> <laughs> What were you gonna say, Wet or Harry, before they in rudely interrupted you with their pick? Um, is this the only part qu quadrant of the bracket where it ended up being the two top seeds meeting up in the final? Because I don't think it was uh, three versus six, and I know it wasn't two versus seven because the twenty-three seed. Uh, no, it was three versus six because it was uh, SmackDown versus Raw 06 versus Fire Pro World Wrestling. Oh, and then fire, and then fire pro beat the yeah. Okay, yeah. we got an interesting race, guys. Well, and Wes is here too. Yeah, but Harry was forty-seven. <laughs> David was forty-five. The record's fifty-six. Two people with a chance to get it. But first, let's look at our semifinals. Here is those final four. Here comes the pain. Versus Fire Pro Wrestling. That is world. that is arguably the best WWE game ever versus the best foreign game ever. But which one makes it to the finals? Everybody got their vote. 
I do. Yep. Harry, let me see yours. Here comes the pain. Doof, let me see yours. I got it right. Got it right. Coming <laughs> down the west. Fire Pro moves on to the finals. Harry, your thoughts on Here Comes the Pain before Nope, it goes I, ref away. I refuse because <laughs> that's my champion eliminated. <laughs> Screw both of y'all. <laughs> Rip. All right, we got the other finals. Like Randy said, he couldn't figure out Fire Pro, but I absolutely love how that game plays. Well, I'm dumb. I'm. Uh, I'm <laughs> I have the dumb. Very much dumb. No mercy. <laughs> Death Jam fight for New York. Who makes it to the championship? I, I can't believe I'm about to say these words. I wish Robert Taylor was here. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no. Hey Robert, I know you're going to be watching this because you were really excited for this episode. Harry, Harry misses you. Hmm. <laughs> Only for wrestling video games. You can keep your football <laughs> opinions to yourself. Hmm. Hey, Robert Taylor was supposed to be on this episode. Uh, he ended up having to work at three in the morning tomorrow, so I, I totally understood. I wish you would have got back to me a little bit sooner, but that's, that's neither <laughs> here nor there. All right, let's see. Wes, let me see yours. Hey, I don't know. Doof. Ah, uh, was it a clean sweep? It was. Yeah, I figured. Figured, yeah. figured. I knew Harry was not going to go Def Jam because he, he was upset it wasn't Vendetta. But yeah, I, I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> like I said, Def Jam Vendetta is not by any stretch of the imagination a bad game. It's a solid set. I'm a coach but... here. Hey, Janie. <laughs> Tell Randy hi. 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 <laughs> and go stairs. <laughs> All right. We got a championship on the line. No mercy versus fire pro wrestling. World. I do appreciate it. I'll say this real quick. I'll let, let Harry get his, his point in there. I, I think if I had any selection of three people that are into video games and into wrestling a lot of the times it might come down to these last two i will say that harry what were you gonna say i was gonna say i just appreciate the fact that you that you made the bra the, the graphics so that they fit perfectly in between everybody right there well, i have it, to move it i always have to move it because i keep forgetting to fix it in on the, the it just it looks so nice it, it, it yeah. looks so nice we make it we make it thinking. at the end I don't know if it's bad or not. There's only one game I haven't played on this list, and it was that Japanese N64 game. Yeah, and and by the way, <laughs> you have played it because it's just like all the other N64 games. Oh yeah, made from that company. It was just Sweet. more Japanese wrestlers <laughs> instead, from what I was looking up. But all right, uh, who's gonna win the whole thing? Harry, let me see yours. I think here comes the pain is better than Fire Pro, but they're both better than No Mercy. Wow, doof. And it comes no mercy. down to this. Wes. No mercy. No Woo! mercy. Like it's a very close fight, but I think it I think it still goes to no mercy simply because like like it's it, it what it did for games going forward, wrestling games, cannot be disputed. I don't yeah. disagree. Oh, one hundred percent. I don't disagree with that. But um, as somebody who, again, never owned an N sixty four, I don't have that high of an opinion of the game. As high of an opinion of the game as most people might. It was just the, it was the standard. Like non wrestling fans, like they know this game. He came back and beat me. That son of a bitch. <laughs> David did have no mercy. Wes helped him get his extra. Five points. Mother final fucker. Fours here. <laughs> As Harry did say, they both had SmackDown 2 on their final four, but I, I just had the one SmackDown-ish game on there. Wes, like I said, all four of Wes's you know, got wins. Arcade yeah. game and 06, I think, both made it to the final eight. 
Yeah. So oh yeah. No, they work. they did. I just you know I not I would not have gone. I, like I, yeah, I am smart enough to go. Arcade game is probably not winning a bracket. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Sad thing is, it almost did, which is the funny yeah. part. Fair enough, but yeah, it, I if I had, real, if I had thought about it for more than three seconds and went, "Oh, he's asking me to pick the final four and champion," no mercy, for the, absolutely would have been my for the champion first there. for the first time in the history of the show. The pre-show predictions decided the winner. Yep, it came down and it got flipped right at the end. The closest has ever been to something like this was Eric and Hagen tying for second. And we we did the whole spin the wheel thing. I'm gonna have to start coming up with a type. I ran. That I have to ask you guys too because I ran away with that episode. That was the <laughs> that was the original points record where I had like 47 points. Yeah. I meant to grab you my guys, old WCW title belt. This is just in case the I won. second highest point total and the third highest point total of all time. It just happened to happen in the same episode. Wes, I don't think you're the lowest. <laughs> Eric had Eric had like four on one episode, I think, because yeah. he only had two of the semifinalists and none of his picks were on the board. Was that, was that the fast food one where he kept yes, one jo- like the jolly jolly bees and other bulls Something. like that? Yeah, just a mess. So it was a really close episode but between Doof and <laughs> Harry West. I do appreciate you hopping on last minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, getting your first taste of bad brackets. Hopefully, we'll be able to have you on again and get you actually prepared. I kind of want to see episode. you. I kind of want to see you throw him against Garmer on a video game episode. We'll get there. So there, there were discussions about. Uh, I, I don't know if this is too inside baseball. Um, there were discussions about a particular episode, <laughs> and I had to go. I don't actually have as much experience as you think I do on that episode. Yeah. Um, so- we we're trying. We we're gonna have a Final Fantasy one later. We put it a bit down the road as far as trying to get Rebirth done, um, but that'll. So in come other words, you're telling me I have I time. have time after Rebirth. Never heard the, of that franchise. Actually, you have you have one month. Oh fuck! <laughs> so, so it's fine. We're gonna have other people on that episode, but yeah. So on other gaming episodes, Wes <laughs> is definitely invited. A hundred percent. This was a really fun one. There's a lot of in-depth talk from all three of you. I appreciate it. A lot of nostalgia happened. In this Are you going to throw? A good time. I, ca- um, I know we have the special episode planned for three. What is it? Four weeks. Are you going to throw Doof on that one? Yeah, yeah, he's on that one. So me, Sean, there, me, Sean, me, Sean, and Doof. Yep. Nice. Uh, all-time, one. all-time greatest WrestleMania. Yeah, Doof, Doof has been – he's been doing his research. He's getting himself ready. We, we, he talks I got three on my final four time. set. My suggestion for your final four, WrestleMania 9, WrestleMania 11, WrestleMania 27. <laughs> I think 32 is my least favorite. You've, you've nailed the top three Shane scene. and Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> but that is it for a few weeks. Uh, uh, final Fantasy is in a few weeks. WrestleMania is in a few weeks. Next week on I'll be up in the minute. show, Harry Broadhurst will return with Robert Hagen and Haley Moses. The same three that brought you the best Disney animated movies, excluding Pixar, will all come back together and they will be doing the best Disney villains. Pixar can be included in that one. Oh my uh, but another Disney themed episode oh my next week. Hi. Film Daddy One. I'm waiting for Daddy One. Daddy didn't win. She Did doesn't say Daddy, Daddy, Daddy One. She refuses to acknowledge yeah. it. Yeah, Daddy One. Hold up one finger, so the camera sees it. See it Hold up a different. Hold up a different <laughs> finger for me, please. <laughs> All right, next week, Disney villains. Have a good one. Until then. Yeah. Good brackets don't last forever, but bad brackets do.